If you Google best tennis string, you're likely to come across three big names. Luxlon ALU Power, Bablat RPM Blast, and Selinko Hyper G. Even if you were to read the thousands of reviews on each of these strings, you'll find mostly positive feedback from the majority of tennis players. So what exactly separates these three strings from the rest? Are they the top performers? Are they backed by the most science? Are they leading innovation? Well, kind of, but also, it's really just marketing. You see, Luxlon was the first major company to produce a polyester tennis string back in the 1990s. Polys offer one major benefit over all of the other tennis string materials like natural gut, nylon synthetic gut, and the Kevlar strings that were dominating the space both at the professional and club level back in the 90s. And that one benefit it's spin. Polys offer significantly more spin potential compared to any other string, and it's not even close. This allowed players to turn defense into offense in a heartbeat. Suddenly, those dominant serve and volley players like Pete Sampras couldn't just smother their opponents to death by rushing to the net. With slowing court speeds and this new spin-friendly string, rivals suddenly had both the time and the ability to find miracle passing shots, finding new angles to pass even the most elite serve and volley players. So by the mid 2000s, nearly every professional tennis player started using polyester strings, whether it be in a full bed or a hybrid with natural gut. Most of the pros were using some variation of ALU power during this early stretch, as it was widely regarded as the most powerful and best feeling polyester string on the market. One big exception though was Rafael Nadal. When Rafa first played Federer in Miami in 2004, it was clear that Nadal was special. Not only did Rafa beat Federer, who was world number one at the time, but he did so with the most ruthless, physical, and spin-friendly game that we had ever seen. So at the time, Rafa was using Bablat Duralast, not ALU Power. Boring first-generation polyester that wasn't even selling that well. So with Nadal's rise to world number one in 2008, It was the perfect opportunity for Bablat to release a unique string centered around Rafa's game. So in 2010, they released Bablat RPM Blast, a uniquely black polyester that featured two key innovations over ALU power. First, RPM Blast is an eight-sided gear-shaped extrusion. The edges of the string create more friction between the ball and the string at contact. This extra grip increases the efficiency of the energy transfer from the racket to the ball, creating more spin when compared to your standard round polyester strings like ALU Power or Duralast. The second innovation was that silicone coating around the outside of the string. This reduces the friction between the main strings, which travel vertically up the racket face and the cross strings which travel horizontally. Reduced friction between the mains and crosses promotes what we call snapback. Snapback is the key to spin in all polyester strings. The thing with poly is it's a lot more slippery than other materials like natural gut or nylon. If you've ever played with an old tennis racket or something cheap from the department store, you'll likely have noticed that the strings seem to move out of place after you hit the ball. This is why tennis players used to always straighten their strings between points. But this doesn't really happen anymore because polyester is so stiff and so slippery that the string just slides right back into place. But polyester doesn't just slide casually back into place whenever it wants. It slides back into place at the exact instant that the ball leaves the string bed. This is where the extra spin comes from. When the main string snaps back into place, it grips the ball and applies a lot more additional rotational force onto the ball. This is why those eight grippy edges on RPM Blast are so helpful. And that silicone coating just aids the string in sliding back even faster so less energy is lost to friction and more energy can be transferred back into the ball. To this day, RPM Blast is still used by some of the game's top players like Rafael Nadal or Carlos Alcaraz. Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. 
versions of ALU power are still used to win slams in the rackets of Novak Djokovic and when he was still playing Roger Federer. But the problem with both ALU power and RPM Blast is they don't actually last that long. This isn't really a problem with ALU Power or RPM Blast specifically. It was only until recently that polys became capable of holding their tension for more than just a couple of hours. If you watch the pros play today, you'll notice that they hardly break their strings anymore, yet you can still see them switching to a new racket around every nine games. This is to combat the tension loss suffered by all polys. The problem is polyester just isn't that elastic of a material, meaning once it's stretched out, it doesn't return back to its original length very efficiently. But in 2015, things started to change. A small company called Selenko released a string called Hyper G. With its vibrant green color, Hyper G was easily identifiable both on TV and in person. Interestingly, Slinko opted for a bottom up marketing strategy. Instead of sponsoring the top pros like Bablat or Lux London, Slinko decided to sponsor US college tennis teams. Suddenly, all of the best players within our local tennis communities were using this vibrant green string. And we all knew that those college kids and those community coaches can't afford to restring their racket every 30 days or so. So there had to be something else going on. What Hyper-G brought to the table that other strings didn't was durability. They actually lasted in your racket, offering excellent spin and sufficient power for most people's needs over time. So between these three strings, which one should you go with? Luxlon ALU Power for feel, RPM Blast for spin, or Hyper-G for durability? Well, the answer is probably none of them. Honestly, it's been eight years since Hyper-G came out and other companies have had eight years of development to catch up. Neither ALU Power nor RPM Blast will play their best in your racket for more than a couple of hours, and they are some of the most expensive tennis strings that you can buy today. My favorite strings that you can buy today are Slinko Confidential, which is like that next evolution of Hyper G, and Tourna Silver 7 Tour or Grapple Snake Tour Sniper. Those last two strings offer feel that's close enough for me to ALU Power. They offer spin that's near enough to RPM Blast, and their durability and tension maintenance last at least two times longer than Hyper G. But polyester strings really aren't designed for everyone. Remember what makes them so special? Well, it takes a lot of force to get a polyester string to snap back. I believe in general, nylon strings are still the best choice for most beginner and intermediate tennis players. You'll just get way better comfort, feel, forgiveness, and power by using a synthetic gut or multi-filament nylon when compared to your polyester strings. Some of my favorite nylons on the market today in order of price are Prince Duraflex, Head Velocity MLT, or Technofiber X1 Biphase. If you need something more durable, Technofiber Triax is also an awesome solution. But how do you really know if polyester strings are right for you? Well, I'd say that if you can't break your polyester strings within 15 hours of play or less, it's probably time to start looking at some nylon options. So to answer the title of this video, what is the best tennis string? Well, there simply isn't one. Of course, people are gonna have their favorites, but there's a reason there's literally hundreds of different options out there. If there really was one best tennis string, that would be the only tennis string available on the market today. Understanding exactly what you like or dislike about different tennis strings is what this channel is really all about. Feeling those subtle nuances between different tennis products is just a fun experiment. It's like trying new food, watching new movies, or listening to new music. Of course, we all have our go-tos, but there's a thrill in trying something new. Editor Beckett here. So a viewer just let me know about an app that he made um, which is designed to help you track different string setups. I thought you told me about it and be really useful add to this video. So with this app, you can really track your progress to figure out what exactly you like about certain strings and what you don't like. The app keeps stats over 
time. So um, basically you can go back and see how you're trending in terms of, do you like strings that are more powerful? Are you starting to lean towards control as you become a better player? Stuff like that. You can also share your player stats with your buddies. Um, it allows you to add up to three rackets right at the start. And then after that it is paid, but three free rackets is as much as most people need anyway. Um, so I just thought that was cool. It's called String Goat. I'll put some links in the description and it's made by a viewer, which is cool. So I like to support our community here. So before you get all worked up about picking the perfect tennis string for your racket, relax. Don't worry. Just try something. No tennis string is that good. No tennis string is that bad. They're all just a little different. And if you aren't exactly sure where to start, just leave a comment down below. Tell me about yourself, your game, exactly what you're looking for in a tennis string, and I'll try to give you some of my best suggestions. But if you want to go a little more in depth with things, I offer string consultations on my website. Here, you'll answer a bunch of detailed questions about your playing experience. I will meticulously comb through your submissions and develop a personalized, tailored string menu based all on your preferences. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.